sometimes it looks like the invasion of Normandy out here. Russ was married to your aunt, Florence. Yep, yep. And, and you came to live with them in the summers. Even when I was in high school. You were from Arkansas? You uh, Illinois. Illinois, yeah. all right. So, okay, so you would come up in the summers and stay with your Aunt Florence and Russ? Uh, <coughs> my father uh, worked as a uh, railroad telegrapher, and so we, had, uh, we could get annual passes. Once a year we could, so he'd get a pass, and I'd go to... Uh, Chicago and take the area over to uh, Salamanca and they'd pick me up over oh, there. Oh, okay. Good. And they, uh, I, I think the, the greatest thing that I can remember was when they went to Hot Springs, as they did every mm -hmm. winter, they left the house to me. And it was 20 below zero and just cold as could be. But I was in charge of the house. And how they would entrust me with that was so flattering. I didn't realize how kind Russ and Florence had been to me. And uh, Russ and I always got along so well, and we could do and talk about anything, absolutely anything. What did you do when you worked at the plant, when you first started in the summers? Oh, God. I helped uh, Joe Petro and Steve Simcoe mount boards and... Uh, <coughs> Uh, display boards mm -hmm. and uh, Steve was an artist and he would lay the knives out on the boards and uh, Joe or I would uh, drill on each side of the knife to, and then I would put the uh, wires down through there and twist them mm -hmm. underneath and uh, that was pretty much what I did over there. Tell us about World War II what you were doing when when that started. You were working at Case full-time oh, at that time? Uh, yeah, I was a uh, shipping clerk, and we were shipping military stuff, and Russ got me a deferment. Okay. And I thought this might upset Russ, but I got on the phone. Peggy Lutman did the uh, cost accounting, and she had a telephone in, the, in there in the new uh, factory building. And I called, I don't know who, but uh, I got an appointment to take the uh, aviation cadet exam. And, the, you know, after Russ had gone to the trouble to get a deferment for mm -hmm. me, I never talked about this to him or how he felt about it. But I took an oath one time, it was with the Boy Scouts, on my honor I will do my best to do my duty to God and my country. And I didn't like what I was hearing. And that's why I en uh, enlisted and got into the uh, uh, aviation cadet program. Mm -hmm. And of the 35 of us that took the exam in Buffalo, two of us passed. Wow. And, w and the other one flunked out on his physical. And I was the only sucker that... <laughs> survived that session mm -hmm. and as you go all through your flying school people drop off they drop out they get killed who knows mm -hmm. and I survived all of that yes you did and I can't imagine how or why but here I are you came back from the war yeah and you said Russ called you and that's when he gave me the speech. Well, Lewis, we were thinking about buying an airplane. <laughs> and that's what happened. Tell us about some of the trips that you did take, what you were doing when you were flying the case plane. Well, uh, we were negotiating to buy a scissor plant and move it to Arkansas. And I flew a lot of people to... Uh, Sandusky. Uh, Sandusky had an airport. Fremont didn't. And Fremont was where the uh, plants were. So I would fly to uh, Sandusky and then fly to Massachusetts. It, it was just kind of a... And it was fun, you mm -hmm. know. And O'Kane, I flew uh, the lawyer. I flew uh, the head of the razor department. A lot of people back and forth. 
and uh, it was really, really a lot of fun because it went well. I know that there was up there was several times when Russ would have you fly different people outside of business, you yeah. know, for emergencies. Yeah. Yeah. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Uh, yeah, Lucille De Palma was uh, she did payroll, and uh, her sister had some kind of a problem, and she needed to be in uh, New Jersey, I think. Russ had me do uh, stuff like that for people. Flying for Case in those early days presented interesting challenges, especially from the weather. It was the most spectacular uh, lightning show I ever saw. The, the ceiling was like 10,000 feet and there was lightning just coming down from, from just, just like crazy. It was the most spectacular mm -hmm. lightning mm -hmm. from air to ground that I ever saw. There's a hill as you go from Salamanca toward Buffalo. The hill goes up here and uh, the, the valley is so narrow that the utility poles were up on the top of the hill. Wow. And when I was flying back, I was looking up at these utility poles and I thought there ain't no way we're going to make it. But by God, we did. You took a lot of pictures. Yeah, I sure when did, did. When did you start developing your uh, photography? Oh, when I was in the eighth grade, I think, at school. Really? I always had a dark room. Everywhere I went, I had a dark room. I don't know why. I must have been obsessed. You took this picture. Oh, to, yeah, I, that's, uh, that's, a nice, that's a nice copy of Johnny. Coming out of the office building. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's just a great picture. Did you take this one? Oh, you bet, yeah. That's a classic. That one I really love, you know, with, <laughs> with Russ looking at the master. Yeah. Nice. That sure looks a lot like Russ. You sent me pictures of Anna and Mary and Joe and... Uh, uh, the entire Petro family. Can you tell us about your relationship with them? You worked closely with all of them. Uh, they went by uh, where I lived. When I came back from the war, Russ had a, a home. And it, it was just great because I was walking distance to the mm -hmm. factory and uh, it needed a lot of work underneath the, the house and I did that. But every day, Anna and Joe and would go by the house to their place, which was a few doors mm -hmm. down the road. And uh, I remember old, they called her old Anna then. That was, uh, and she'd go by and she said, Louie, 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 always working, working, working. <laughs> she didn't speak very good English, yeah. but she was just a delightful oh. lady. Louie, part of your responsibilities when you were a personnel director was was doing the case news, these beautiful little editions that you did. Yeah, yeah, it was a lot of fun. They're a great collectible item and... Uh, I'll bet they and, are, yeah. And for me, they're, they're a wonderful resource. <laughs> Jeez. Yeah, they were... That, that's really neat to see that again. Uh, the the people in the plant did articles. They they authored the articles and yeah, we had uh, people like reporters for this department and that department and some other mm -hmm. department and and then we printed it. Pack of wood. You were involved with that development of pack of wood and going Oh, back yeah. Forth. Back before the war, uh, station wagons were made out of wood, the, the boxes, and they called them wood boxes. <laughs> Will Adams had the rusted out most wood box thing you ever saw, but he had developed pack of wood. Uh, pack of wood was a uh, reinforced, uh, they, they reinforced wood with resin under heat and pressure to build for propeller blades because we were running out of aluminum for, during the war. Well, after the war, 
uh, Will Adams was trying to find a market for his uh, pack of wood. It was a great material. Mm -hmm. If it'd hold up his propeller blades, it's got to be. So he went to, uh, came to Russ to make uh, knife handles. And it was so expensive. You just couldn't imagine the expense to put on a knife handle that it would ever sell. But Russ bought it. I mean, he, this is the kind of a guy he was. He, he could kind of get a feel for it. And it worked. Every time I've talked to you, you've, you've always praised Russ, and you've always uh, spoke of him very fondly. He, he, he never, he or Florence, neither one, ever criticized me about anything. Mm -hmm. I never thought of his, him as a father figure, but uh, you couldn't have a better father than mm -hmm. Russ Case was to me. I mean, we just got along really well.